a country that finds itself in a very difficult situation at the moment due to the financial crisis, political stalemate, and of course uh, the Syrian crisis next door that also pushed a large number of Syrian refugees to Lebanon. And here I would like to express my recognition for the challenge that this huge number of Syrian refugees represents for a country of the size of Lebanon. And we will continue, as we have been doing for 12 years already. <laughs> and that's why I came to Lebanon with the announcement of an increased humanitarian aid budget for Lebanon. We have allocated for 2023 60 million euros for humanitarian aid for Lebanon. That represents a 20% increase compared to last year. But as you know, humanitarian aid is not a sustainable long-term solution. This country needs more. This country needs reforms. This country needs political consolidation. This country needs election of a president. This country needs a government with full powers in place. And this country needs an agreement with the international community, specifically with the International Monetary Fund. And such an agreement would unlock substantial financial support, also from the European Union, that should help Lebanon recover from the current difficult uh, situation. Uh, we believe that Syrian refugees should be able to return to Syria. This is their home country. But we at the same time consider that conditions are still not there in Syria for safe and voluntary return. Now, those who want to go back can go back. Nobody is preventing them. On the contrary, there are humanitarian organizations that facilitate the return of those who do want to return. Besides, we are not providing humanitarian assistance to Syrians only in neighboring countries like Lebanon. We are providing a lot of humanitarian assistance to Syrians in Syria both in government-controlled areas as well as in non-government-controlled areas. Actually, our humanitarian assistance to people in Syria is much larger than humanitarian assistance to Syrian refugees in Lebanon.